We're here at Summer Nam 2016 on the Sensil booth with Steph, who's going to tell us about a new customizable control surface which uses some interesting technology. So, Steph, what is this and how does it do what it does? Sure, so this is the Sensil Morph. Um, and as you can see, the base is this uh, touch device, which has over 20,000 sensors um, in the device itself. And it can detect over 40,000 levels of pressure. Um, so because of that, we're able to detect through any flexible material. So we have took advantage of that by creating a bunch of different overlays, um, which is just this flexible material here that you're seeing. And they're all able to detect um, based on like where you're touching the XY coordinates, the pressure levels. Um, and because of that, you can essentially turn it into whatever you want it to be, uh, which is where we got the name The Morph from. OK. Because it can morph into all these different use cases. Great, and can you tell us a bit about the different um, the different overlays you have so far? Yeah, sure. So we have about 15 so far, um, and they range from an art overlay, so you could use it as a digital art tablet, um, to a gaming overlay. But for music, uh, we've created a piano, um, an MPC controller that was actually designed by someone at DubSpot, which is a DJ school in New York, um, and this drum controller. Uh, but these are just some that people have come to us with ideas or that we've had the ideas of them ourselves. Um, I think the real magic is just hearing what people, like a lot of people see this and they're like, oh my god, I can use this as a controller for music production and I want it to just be like a bunch of sliders. And, and the beauty is that you can actually create your own and um, we can down, you can download it and we can either 3D print it for you or you could 3D print it yourself for 15 to 20 bucks. Um, and you can turn this device into that kind of missing element in your music production. So the exact control surface that you want, you can completely specify it from scratch. Exactly, yeah. That's very cool. And it's pressure sensitive, of course. 4,000 Yeah, about 40,000 levels, oh, yeah. 40,000, right. Mm -hmm. Goodness, that's, that's pretty serious. <laughs> yeah, it's um, intense. <laughs> and how much will this cost then, and when will it be available? Sure, so we had a Kickstarter um, last August. Mm -hmm. So we're shipping those products um, in October. Okay. And now, since the Kickstarter is over, um, you can pre-order it for $249. And that comes with a free overlay and a free case. Mm -hmm. And um, you, we have a pre-order site up. It's up on Backerkit. Um, if you go to our website, you can see it, sensil.com. Um, and yeah, it comes with a free case as well, in addition to the free overlays. And after that, each overlay is about 20 bucks more. 20 bucks more. OK, great. Let's have a quick demo then. Yeah, sure. So here's the piano overlay, and as you can see, it's able to detect velocity very well. I'll just play a little tune. And velocity is something that you can turn on and off, so now it's off. And it automatically can detect what overlay you're putting on. So this here is the MPC controller. And this here is the drum kit. These are all 3D printed except for the piano, um, but the final versions will all be silicon molding. Thanks for the demo. Uh, can you tell us about the interfacing with the computer? Does it work with, uh, and what different platforms is it compatible with? Sure, so it works with anything that speaks in MIDI. So right now we're using Ableton on this computer, but you can essentially use it with any music software that you're already using. Um, and it works with Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, and an iPad, so PC as well, obviously. Yeah, excellent, thank yeah, you very much. Definitely.